Hello. Continuing with my ongoing narration of my television show, The New All in the Family, MGMG Films presents The New All in the Family, Episode 6, Scenes 7 and 8. Joey is arguing with Giselle. They are interrupted by a much bigger fight between the kids upstairs and loud noises. As they try to get to the bottom of it, they discover Josh outside his room and Samantha really livid over his abuse of her phone the previous night. She goes back in her room and refuses to come out when her parents ask it. Kamala surprises everyone at that moment with a visit, which gets Samantha out. She gives her an impassioned speech, referencing the hardship of her race, gender, and queer and gay status, and how important fighting for their love is. And now for the narration. Internal, home, kitchen, night. Giselle is making something, and Joey is unpacking groceries. Joey, want to know what happened at work? He stops putting the groceries away to light up a cigar. Giselle, Joey, can you keep that cigar out of here? It ruins the food and it's very annoying. Joey, I can't help it. I'm upset. Giselle, you're always upset. Joey, do you want to know what happened at work or not? Giselle, how come you never asked me about my work? Joey, because your work is boring. All of a sudden, there is a big commotion from upstairs. Samantha, from upstairs, brutally angry. You fucking ruined my entire life. I thought I was getting better as a person. and You had to ruin what little I had for me. Josh, from upstairs. Leave me alone. You don't know what real pain is. Sound of scuffle. Hang it. Hey, Joey. Hey, don't break my house. Giselle, can I send this family back and get a new one? Internal, upstairs hallway night. Samantha and Josh appear to be at a standoff in a fight that appears to have been physical a little bit. Samantha, livid. I was trying to be nice to you, to give you a break. I can't believe you'd do something like that. Well, that's it for me. Josh, contrite. I'm sorry. Samantha, cutting him off. Just get away from me. Stay away from me. Josh, begging. Please, Samantha. She goes into a room and slams the door loud. <coughs> Josh, yelling through the door. I could tell your secret. Samantha, yelling from inside. Fine, tell my secret. Joey comes up the stairs with venom in his expression. Joey, what the hell is going on here? To Josh. Why are you out of your room? To Samantha's door. Samantha, get out here. Josh goes back to his room. Joey, wait a minute, don't get smart. Josh, what do you mean? You said get back to my room. Joey starts to lunge for him when Giselle is coming up the stairs, approaching the landing. <clears throat> Giselle, I know I'm really going to regret coming up here when I could have escaped and gone out for a drink. Josh and Joey are both stopped and break into a laugh. Joey, go out, honey. Buy yourself a drink. Josh, no, don't, Ma. I need you. Joey, coward. Samantha, get your butt out here. Samantha, OS, from inside. No, I did nothing wrong. He blew up my phone. Joey, smiling. This I gotta hear. How did a boy with nothing to Josh? What do you got in that room of yours that I don't know about? My God, you're a living nightmare. Giselle, Josh, what did you do to Samantha's phone? Josh, I didn't do anything. Samantha, OS, from bedroom. That's not true. He tried to sex my girlfriend. Joey, girlfriend? Giselle, girlfriend? Both look towards Samantha's door. Giselle, Sam, honey, I think you better come out. There's a lot you both got to explain to us. And civilly, no yelling, please. Samantha, OS, from bedroom, between anger and sobs. Let Josh tell you. He knows everything. Josh, I don't know what she's talking about. Samantha, OS, from bedroom. Oh, don't you dare try that again, you creep. Tell them how nice I was letting you use my phone because I felt sorry for you. Joey, if you let him use your phone, then you're guilty of breaking the rule of no phones for Josh. Now you see what happens when you feel sorry for someone? Serves you right. Giselle, Joey, no, that's not right at all. Samantha, please come out. That was a wonderful thing you did, but I need to explain something to you. The doorbell rings downstairs. 
Giselle. Oh, that must be Mike. Hold on a second. No violence, please. She goes downstairs. Joey and Josh. You just don't seem to ever get it. Now I gotta lock you up in your room. From both sides. And because of that bleeding heart liberal school that dumped you on us. Up, up the stairs comes Giselle, followed by Kamala. Joey. Well, of all the people, look who's here. As if we didn't have trouble enough. Kamala. Hi, Mr. Stivic. Giselle to Samantha's door. Honey, come on. Before she's gotten it out, Samantha appears in the doorway. Samantha. Hi, Kamala. Kamala. Samantha, I thought about it. It's not easy being black in today's world. It's even harder being a woman. So you can imagine what it must be like to be gay and transgender on top of all that. Everybody's frozen. Josh. You mean you're not a boy? Joey. No, you idiot. Kamala, ignoring them. But when you find someone who's worth fighting for, she starts to break into tears, which sets Samantha into her own tears. Kamala, you got to fight for them and find a way to overcome whatever sets you apart. Samantha, I know it won't be easy for us by any stretch, but it'll be a lot tougher trying to go it alone. Samantha, reaching out to Kamala. Oh, Kamala. Um... Hug each other, smiling with joy. Josh, now where did I go wrong? Fade out.